morning everybody my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel Carla being crafty where I talk about mostly craft stitch but also other crafts that I'm working on a little bit of life thrown in um, this is my floss tube number 43 it is the 3rd of May Sunday so mania is officially underway for any any of you craft stitchers out there that are um, participating so we'll talk about that a little bit later um, I just want to say thank you for coming and stopping by my channel if this is your first time finding me well welcome and I hope that you like uh, what I have to say and you want to like and subscribe for those of you that are returning viewers thank you so much for being here um, this has just been a wonderful experience and you guys are uh, making my time on FlossTube um, so much fun and really worthwhile thing to do so thank you all for being here very much um it is a little bit warm here in southern california already um we've kind of crossed into more summery type weather which i don't particularly enjoy but um i don't have my air conditioning on right now because i just don't want the noise uh, for the video so if i get a little glowy um that is what that is so uh just bear with me so hopefully i won't be like sweating and, and unattractive in that way um just a little aside i thought i would mention i've had a couple people during the course of this 10 months that i've been doing bossy i mean obviously people comment on my hair it is a little bit uh out there and comment on my nails because i always seem to have long nails on the videos so, um, I'm just going to address that for a second for anybody that's interested. I do use overtone on my hair. Um, I've had so many people in the last couple weeks ask me about it and buy overtone. I think it's because people are stuck at home and they're getting bored and they want to do something. But I really enjoy overtone. This is not a commercial for overtone. They don't know I'm saying anything. But that is what I use. Um, I went, started going gray very, very, very early in my life when I was 17 so I've been coloring my hair forever and I just got to a point a couple years ago where I was really sick of the box color and wanted to do something different so I went with the colors and um, I don't know it just to me now it just feels normal like when I first did it of course you wake up you look and you have purple hair and it's like ooh. now it's like that's how my hair looks um so I, I love it um, as far as the nails I use press on nails you guys <laughs> So I have different nails every week. Um, I also wear them really long in my videos because this is what I really like. Um, and then on Sunday nights I cut them down because I can't type with these at work. So yeah, so I usually cut them down to, not short, but definitely not like talons. Um, but I change them out. You know, I usually give my nails a day to like breathe. Um, and then, you know, I'll put new ones on on the weekend. And if they're a long style, I leave them that way for my videos because I really like it. And I stitch. I Actually, if I when I take my nails off, it's harder for me to stitch because um, I'm used to using them as kind of like tools um, with the stitching. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, I use different brands, Kiss, Marmalade, whatever strikes my fancy. And um, I don't, having covering my gray and having the pretty nails makes me feel better it just when I don't have that I feel gray and dull and you know who needs that so anyway I just thought I'd let you guys know so if any of you are interested in what I do um, I'm a pretty much DIY person um, obviously with all my crafts and stuff but I'm that way with my personal uh, you know, I trim my own hair at the end when it needs it, and I trim my own bangs, and, um, part of it is just because I haven't felt in the last several years that I've had the money for that kind of thing. Um, but, anyway, so that's my, my beauty routine things, um, that I thought you guys might be interested in. So, um, a few little personal, um, life stuff. I want to say happy birthday. Um, officially out in the world to my um, my sister-in-law Stacy um, her birthday was Wednesday and um, of course celebrating it in the time of, uh, of quarantine uh, we didn't get to do anything fun um, I went on a zoom dinner with them 
Um, so they went out and got, um, uh, I think my brother went out and picked up like sushi and uh, cobbler or something for dessert. And they had said, oh, we, we can, you know, DoorDash you sushi. And I was like, no, I had just actually gotten stuff to make a really delicious like salad that night. So I had my salad and they had uh, their food. Um, but we have plans. So her birthday was this week. My brother's birthday is in July and my birthday is in August. So we have all vowed that when everything is lifted and everything is safe, we are all three going to go out for a very, very delicious sushi dinner for our birthdays together. So I'm looking forward to that in the next, sometime in the next six months, <laughs> three months, who knows. Um, but I was able to celebrate with them. Um, they also had kind of like a birthday parade for her, which I couldn't do because it was during the day, but they had like five or six friends come by in cars and honk and, you know, throw wine out the window, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, what? we're all just celebrating our celebrations the way that we can. Um, we did it with a Zoom, a Zoom dinner, um, which is always, you know, it's always fun for me to spend time with them virtually if I can't be there in person. Um, also yesterday, my, my niece, my, my Reagan, um, was tumbling and she did a back handspring a little bit wrong and ended up in urgent care with a, a strained or sprained elbow. So she was a little bit of a sad sack last night because she was in a lot of pain and she was told no tumbling for at least two weeks and uh, she may have to have a little bit of physical therapy. So, you know, as I said to my sister-in-law, you know, good athletes, get injured occasionally you know it's just something we have to deal with and she's fine it's just I think it was it was a bummer for her because you know and I asked her what she did she's like well I did a back handspring and we're supposed to keep our hands like this but I had mine turned out and so she knows what she did wrong in the tumbling move but she did tweak her elbow pretty bad so hopefully that'll heal um easily and she can get back to doing the kind of gymnastics and stuff that she wants to do um Cheer. I mean, it is gymnastics. It's just a different kind of style, I guess. So, um, I think that that's it for my my uh, life update stuff. Everybody else seems to be fine. Um, I don't know if I mentioned on here my brother actually had a COVID test because um, he has developed a really bad cough, which is not unusual because he gets bronchitis every winter. He has asthma. Uh, he gets bronchitis easily and every year and that's what it was and he knew that's what it was but the doctor um, prescribed him his medication but at the same time said he needed to have a test so he um, last Friday I guess it was actually had the test done and it was it was um, he was negative for the bad stuff so um, everybody else continues to be healthy my mom's healthy Watching her movies, turn it classic movies. We're hearing about it every day because she's just, you know, and I'm glad she found it because, God, without that, she would be, she would be so bored. So at least she can lose herself in the in the movies, and she's enjoying that. Um, okay, so let us get started with the cross stitch and the art stuff and the good stuff. Okay, I saved my, um, you know, the the changing of the year of celebrations. Um, I waited to do that on the video, so I'm moving out the April and putting in me. And again, this one, I think it turned out so pretty. Um, I don't know why I was having such a hard time, like, forcing myself to do it. But once I did it, 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 it turned out really pretty. This is one of the ones that has, I think, more colors than any of the others, so maybe that's why. So this will get put up behind me right there when we're done with the video. Um, I have had, been having a problem the last couple months. My finishing technique, which has been the same for all of the months I've done this, um, the this piece has been falling off, so I've ended up having to glue it because I was just using the, the sticky board to hold it onto the felt. Um, in the last two months, I've had to glue. So we'll see if it falls off, then I'll, I'll end up putting a couple dots of glue. But, okay. So that is that. Okay. 
Um, I don't have any finishes or new starts this week. Um, I just, I worked on some whips and of course May started. Sorry, I'm having just the, the itchy nose, the floss tube itchy nose syndrome. Um, so I didn't have any uh, finishes or new starts. I just worked on whips. Um, and then once May started, then I did the last two days I worked on um, one of my haze. So you will see that in a minute. Um, I did do a little bit more on the diamond painting. Added another rose down here. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. So I'm about halfway through. Can you see that glitter? Yeah. So I think this one is like super, super pretty. Um, and I'm enjoying it, but I'm getting just a teeny bit sick of it. I mean, I picked it because it's only eight colors, right? And since I hadn't diamond painted in quite a long time, I thought, well, let me just do this and see, you know, get back into it, see if I enjoy it. I do still enjoy it, um, and then I realized that I enjoy it a little bit more of the challenging ones. So, um, I did put in a small order, uh, like, from Amazon just to get some more uh, trays because I had, I had a ton of stuff, and I gave it a, a lot of it away to people who had contacted me and said, hey, I'm thinking about starting diamond painting, you know, and then I put together a package for them of... I had so many like partial kits and stuff like that and since I wasn't as enthusiastic about doing it anymore I gave a bunch of stuff away. I gave stuff to my niece. I gave stuff to my ex-sister-in-law. Um, I just put together packets for these people and, and in doing that I put together you know everything that they would need so including the you know the diamond painting trays and the and the storage containers and then I realized I didn't have enough storage care, uh, containers to kit up the project that I want to start when I'm done with that one. So I ordered a couple uh, inexpensive storage containers. I think I spent $10 on Amazon to get them and um, they should be coming next week. And then I will show you the one that I'm going to kit up. It's a, it's a Halloween uh, one and I thought if I start it now then maybe I'll have it so I can put it up at Halloween time. It might actually be cute to put outside my door um, if I can find a way to do that. Maybe like with a wreath holder or something like that I can put it on my outside. We'll see. Um, okay, so that was the diamond painting whip. Um, I also worked on uh, my June here celebrations. So last week all I had was the J-U-N, but I added the sandcastle and I started the border thing. Um, this is going to be the, the box where it says beach. There's This is a little bucket that has kind of like those whirly whirly things in it so I worked on that one <clears throat> I did a tiny bit on Clementine this is for the Clem Sal that I'm doing with Lisa from uh, I'm losing her channel name again. Forest City Stitching? Yeah, Forest City. Um, anyway, it was her birthday last month. So we did this kind of in honor of her birthday. And I know she's working on it. I know um, Jules from Moonshine Crafting is working on it. So I didn't do much. I Actually, I finished the cat. So he had some like blank spaces in here. And um, yeah. I finished like the little lines over his eyes and stuff. So it's not a ton of stuff I did, but. This one's really cute. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's not super fun to watch. And then I worked a little bit on the Blue Flower Gathering Honey. This I started in February for my Be My Own Valentine Sal. And I thought I would get it done a lot quicker than I have. Um, but it's okay. I'm actually going to continue to work on this, uh, even though it's mania. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, because I just want to get it done. 
Um, I'm at that point. I'm not sick of it, but I just, I'm anxious to get it done. And oh, I got a frame for it that I think is going to be really pretty. Um, I'll show you that when we get to haul, if I remember. Um, okay, so uh, I didn't do a ton more on this. I finished the hands. Can you even see that? The hands. I finished the hands and I finished the dipper. So let's see what's left. Um, there's a B here. I still have to finish these shoulder like butterfly things. On the shoulder. There's butterflies. Uh, butterflies are flower things that are, there's one on our shoulder and one on our hip. Excuse me. There's a bee that goes up here. And then there's the second clump of flowers. Okay. And that was basically my whips for the week, except for then, um, Friday was the 1st of May. Um, I had my Zoom call, my Friday night Zoom call with my friends. Um, we're calling it Friday Friday night happy hour, although it's lasting like three hours or so. Um, so I set up my, my, um, my setup here on my table uh, to do my full coverages and I was working on it while I was on the call. Um, I realized yes, during that call and yesterday, I am very slow when it comes to doing um, my full coverages. This is lavender honey, that's what I, lavender honey, did I say that? Lavender roses. This is by Carrie Hawks, charted by Heaven Earth Designs. Um, I'm really slow doing a full coverage. And I, and it's, it's because I'm just, I spend a lot of time doing nothing. You know, I, a lot of time like I'll stop and I'm looking at the TV and I'm doing, you know, when I'm doing regular stitching, it's pretty steady. I'm not that steady when I'm doing um, this full coverage. But I did manage to finish the diagonal. And I hit, look, I hit the, the nose color. So I am for sure over halfway done with this now um, by stitch count. So now my question is, and of course, I want you guys to comment, but I'm not going to get comments before I have to make the decision today. Do I continue to work on this and start a new diagonal on this one? Or do I switch to my Catnap Fay, which is also at the end, so I'll be starting a new diagonal and start a new diagonal on that. Um, I'm thinking I might switch off, because I worked on this for two days. Maybe I will work on Catnap Fay for two or three days. Um, probably that makes sense. Like do today, Monday and Tuesday, and then switch off on Wednesday because it's my early day, so I have a few extra hours or an extra hour or so in the afternoon um, and switch back to this one. Um, I think that my my big full coverage, my um, uh, Village Village Bookstore is going to suffer. It's not, it's not going to get the love as much as these two because I just really want to get such a, I want to get a big chunk done on this one. And Cat Nap Faye, I want to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want to get to a finish. Um, I've been watching like the mania starts of mania, like all the mania videos of the people that I enjoy watching. And I'm loving watching what they're doing. It makes me want to start stuff. But I, I know myself and I know my like anxiety and stress levels right now and having too many whips would just make me not happy. Um, yeah, I mean right now I'm at that point where I need to see some finishes and I'm getting little things finished which is great and that helps keep the momentum but I need to get some bigger projects finished. Um, I need to feel that accomplishment because I've looked around and like most of my bigger projects I've given away. So I have like a couple things that are bigger that I've completed that I have, but you know, I need to get some, I need to get some stuff up on the walls or get some pillows on my, my bed or whatever. I need to get some, some finishes, um, under my belt, um, before I can start a bunch of stuff. And I have a lot of things in mind that I do want to start. So, um, you know, so that's why I, I need to, 
focus more on Lavender Roses and Catnap Fay rather than Village Bookstore because Village Bookstore is a, you know, a years, years and years long project anyway. Um, so if I don't get a bunch done on that, you know, it's going to take a long time to feel like I'm making progress on that anyway. Um, but these, I can, I can make a difference, you know? I, I don't know if it makes any sense. I'm sure there's people out there that feel the same way. And obviously there's people out there who start in 20 new starts for Mania to add to their already 20, you know, all, all of the whips they already have. And it doesn't bother them. Um, but it, it would bother me. Um, I know there's people who laugh and they're like, yeah, you know, if I never get it done, whatever. Um, maybe because of my age, I, I don't know what it is, but the idea of starting things without the intention of ever finishing them just stresses me out. So anyway, so that's the decision I, I need to make. And I think actually talking to you guys, I made it. I think I'm going to switch. I'm going to put this away until Wednesday and I'm going to work on Catnap Fave for the next couple days. So, and then it'll be more fun for you guys too, because then you'll get to see both things next week. Um, so along those lines, um, I started thinking about it and I know my original plans for Mania were like only my, um, full coverage, but I am going to break my rule already and I'm going to continue to work on the junior celebrations and the, um, gathering honey again, because I want to get a finish on those. Um, and, and the second thing is, is that when I work on my full coverages, I pretty much, I work on them at my table. Um, I get to a point in the evening where I need to, you know, I need to lie down. I need to get into a more comfortable place. And, um, the full coverages don't really work that great over there. I mean, I, I used to stitch on them, but that's when they were smaller. And now that they're bigger and it just, it gets unwieldy, unwieldy to sit on my day bed and, and stitch on the full coverages. So, I think when I get to that point in the evening and I still, I'm not done stitching, but I'm done sitting up, <laughs> then I will work on the, um, June year of celebrations because I would like to get that finished before June hits. And then, um, I'll also work on gathering honey so that I can maybe get that finished this month. Um, and if I do get that finished this month, then maybe I will work on one of my other whips in that you know, that time after I finished with the full coverages. So there, I broke my rule. I changed my, changed my, uh, mind, I guess. And it is what it is. <laughs> um, okay. Then, oh, you know what? I forgot to put notes on my, and I can't find a pen. I, I'm doing a giveaway later today and, you know, I don't want to forget to do it. Okay. So I have to have my notes here or else I forget stuff. Seriously, you know, I, if I don't write down my tagline, I will forget to say it. it yeah, that's just how it is with making the videos. Okay, so um, that's all for whips and, and the work I did. So let's get into a little bit of um, stash acquisition. Um, so I talked to you guys, I think I mentioned last week. When I finished this, this is the um, the rose garden. I cut it out of the frame. So um, this is by Nancy's Needle. Um, rose garden counted canvas. I think I said counted cross stitch at one point when I was talking about this stuff. It's not. It's counted canvas. That's what it's called. It's, it's done on needlepoint canvas. It is a form of needlepoint. Um, anyway. So I finished this and I was talking about doing the finishing on it and then I had ordered some boxes from Amazon, the Doris boxes. So I got those in and I thought I'd show them to you and I have two that would work for this um, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. This one wouldn't, this is a, the wrong size, it's a rectangle, but I got this little box. I just thought that it would be kind of cool to use these for finishes for different, you know, um, a different way to finish things. Um, I got this box and this is the first one that came in and I forgot that I ordered the third one so I thought I was going to use this one and I started painting it. Um, this is not the color I want it to end up. I use this as a base color because um, they definitely need more than one coat. Um, I'm probably not doing this correctly. They're not finished. I probably should be sanding them. 
but I didn't have sandpaper. So I just decided to put a coat of paint on it, see what happened. And then I have another color that's more of a rose color rather than this bright pink that I'm going to put over it. Um, but what I'm thinking is that I need to find a way to do this, but then I would mount the stitching on the top like that. And I don't know if I'm just going to like glue it, if I'm going to like attach this to like sticky board or something. I don't know how to do it yet. Um, I'm going to have to think about it, maybe watch videos, maybe just make it up on my own. So that, that was the plan. But then I got the third one in that I forgot that I ordered and it would also fit on this. So this box is really nice too. And I could put it on this. So I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. But chime in if you have an opinion on that. Okay, so those are my boxes. They were not very expensive. Sorry. <laughs> they weren't very expensive. Um, they're about $10 each in that range, 10 to 12. Um, but I think that they're like a cool alternative uh, way to display stuff. And then it, it, they're functional boxes, so I can use them for something, you know. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Um, I did do a little eBay auction that I won for some gentle art threads. You know I'm a sucker for that. Um, Especially when they're like a super good price and these were. And I really enjoy organizing these and putting them on my little ring. So it was really hard for me not to do it and wait for you guys to put these away. Because I like doing that. But, um, okay. So these are the ones I got. Uh, Mint Jubilee. Another corn husk, which is funny because I was having such a hard time in finding that. So I ordered extra now. Now I have, uh, I have like three corn husks. Um, sweet petunia. Bluebell. I think I already had this one. Tarnished gold. Hyacinth. Jasmine, Daisy, Buckeye Scarlet. I've heard a lot of people talking about that color. Uh, bittersweet. I've heard people talk about this color a lot too. And Victorian Pink, which I did have. So, this was fun to get. They were kind of brighter colors than I've gotten in the last couple um, eBay lots, you know, general art lots. So, that's kind of fun. And these are mostly colors I didn't have. Although, I don't mind getting duplicates, you know, because they are over and they don't all, they don't always match. I mean, they match, but they're all slightly different. I realize I'm getting threads that may be older, um, maybe a little faded. It doesn't matter. I like it all. Um, I'm finding uses for it and um, I enjoy having them. So um, that was one of my purchases. And then I have been looking, I mean, well, obviously I watch Floss Tube like all of you guys do too. And because of the mania um, kidding up, I've seen a lot of project bags and sleeves and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to purchase, I mean, I love project bags and, um, I have made some, as you guys know, I've made four or five already. Um, and I love them, but I've also been intrigued by seeing these book sleeves that people are using, like the Love, love You More Studio Co. book sleeves and everything. Um, and I think that they actually work really well for project bags. The only thing that I'm, I'm concerned about is, you know, just the fact that they're totally open, but I have my, my, uh, nap kit that I bought and I think I could put like a single snap and that would stop that issue so before I started making 
book sleeves. I wanted to get a couple to see how they're made. Um, I watched a video. Um, I just wanted to get an idea. Um, so I decided to go, I was going to buy a Love You More Studio Co, but they didn't have any. Um, their site was empty at the time. So I just did a search on Etsy and I found some that were on sale. I went for the clearance and, um, yeah, so I got these four clearance ones. This one's a little one. This is actually a Kindle sleeve, but I still think it would work really great for a small project. So I got this one. These four, they're from a, uh, a shop on Etsy called the Aunt Farm. So A-U-N-T Farm. Um, so I got this little one. And again, I'm going to put a little snap right there so it will you know you won't be able to like turn it upside down and shake out the chart because I just feel like that might happen to me so I got this tiny one but then the other ones are bigger and they were all on sale so I got this cute like doggies and bikes and a pretty wine one I'm not a huge wine drinker, but I love the colors in this anyway, so. And then this citrus one, which is the same kind of like pretty muted. I wonder if they're the same. Maybe they're the same line from a designer. And I actually put all of the um, the fabric options and then the, the chart for the blue flower uh, night walk down so you can see it holds everything. The only thing I'm concerned about, again, is, well, it's not slipping out, so that's good. But I still think that I'm going to put a snap. Because I like actually setting those snaps. It's fun. And, um, yeah. This one would be cute with, like, a bright green one, maybe. Um, and then, actually, I was talking to my friend Tracy, who um, made me the mask. Um, since she's, like, started sewing a little bit. <laughs> and I was like, hey, if you want to make book sleeves and she's like what the heck's a book sleeve so I sent her the video and she's like oh maybe maybe I'll make some for you so if she does that that will be awesome I'll have a book sleeve source now most of the sleeves I think are made with like a foam in them and I don't know if I'm gonna do that I have a lot of fusible uh the fusible fleece um and I think for my purposes since I want to make use them as project bags anyway that I might try making it just using the fusible fleece um so they won't be quite as squishy as a regular book sleeve but they'll be more like you know just an uh a project bag sleeve um yeah so we'll see um i have to be honest using the sewing machine is not my favorite thing um i just i can do it and i like the results it just, it takes, it's just not my favorite thing. Um, and it hurts my back. So I kind of leave, leave it to do a bunch of sewing at one time. And then, um, I do it like when I have a three day weekend or something, I use that one day for like sewing. Um, the first time I made project bags, I was so excited to do it. And I really overdid. I mean, I like went to where my body was like shaking. I was in a lot of pain. So, um, I don't want to do that again. That wasn't that wasn't a smart use of my time. Um, although I got four project bags out of it. Um, so yeah. So I'm I'm but I'm intrigued with this idea of doing the sleeves because although I love the project bags and I love the end result, putting the zipper in is is kind of fiddly, and I can do it, but it's not super enjoyable. And I think these might be a little bit easier to handle. So, I don't know. So, that's kind of my plan for that. Um, to maybe try to do those in the future. Um, oh, and then I forgot I was going to show you this frame. So, I told you guys I've gone on to Kohl's. I had some of those, you know, Kohl's. Kohl's always does these sale things and then you get, like, free, you have, like, dollars whatever they call them, Kohl's, Kohl's cash. So you have, you know, so much money that you can, so much, like, free words are being hard today. Anyway, so I was looking at frames. I got a couple of different frame things just to have. Um, but this one I got for the Gathering Honey specifically. I think that it will look really pretty. Um, 
So anyway, let me show you the frame first. So it kind of has this green tinge to it. Oh yeah, it's coming up nice. But it's like shells with like a little bit of this green tinge. And I just think that it's going to pull out the green really nicely in the gathering honey. And I think that that will look really pretty. So it's an 8x10 um, and that will fit. There'll be some yellow border, but anyway, so I got that from Kohl's. And, okay, I just have no room here because I have my setup for my full coverage. Um, talked about that. Oh, giveaway. All right, what are we going to give away this week? I put it all in a bag, and then I put the bag somewhere. Oh my goodness. All right. This is not funny. What did I do with it? <laughs> Hold please. my hand and I looked at it and I saw pattern on the back and yeah okay so I think the first thing that I'm gonna pass is this Nancy Neal's Rose Garden that I just completed so here's the completed piece and so if you are interested in this of course don't say giveaway don't say any of the stuff that's going to bring the trolls, um, you guys all know that. And you have to be over 18. And I'll basically just stick this into an envelope and mail it to you. Um, if international, it may take longer. Um, yeah, and I'm probably not going to go to the post office until stuff gets a little bit less, you know, COVID-y out there. So, um... If you're international, it's going to take a long time to get it to you. So just be aware. But um, for everybody else, I can just stick it in a regular big envelope and mail it to you from my office. So anyway, um, say something about roses or rose, the word rose. Um, and we'll send that out. And as I said, because I hit 1,000 subscribers last week, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some little bit every every week uh, this month. So, um, yeah. So this is a pasta stash, but it's a really lovely pattern to do and it's fun to work on. So, say something about Rose and you will be entered in that drawing. And hopefully I won't forget next week to do that <laughs> okay um I think that that is it I don't think I've forgotten anything so have a great week you guys if you are participating in mania then I hope you enjoy every single one of your new starts if you're doing mania of another short if you're working on whips or you're working on full coverage or you're working on one piece that you just want to get a lot of work done on go for it it you know this is all just to be a lot of fun and help get us through our rough times um, but yeah I hope everybody stays safe healthy comfortable with the weather <laughs> whatever whatever your weather is like and you know it's getting crazy because I still hear people talking about how it's like super cold where they are or it just rained or whatever and here in Southern California and like Arizona I know they're getting really hot temperatures so um, stay comfortable that's a good thing. If you're cold, put on a sweater. If it's hot, put on the air conditioning. Dip your toes into a cool 
bath of water since, you know, I wouldn't recommend necessarily going to the pool right now. Um, but yeah, so everybody stay safe out there um, and have a great week. Please remember to always be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye, everybody.